Hello and welcome friends to another special episode where we celebrate one year of my activity on YouTube by showing all my collection of fountain pens and today we are going to talk about my Parkers, another famous American producer, arguably the most famous fountain pen manufacturer out there. We will start in chronological order. My oldest fountain pen in the collection is this model from 1928. Quite, quite a small fountain pen and his um, name is quite, quite long. I will try to say it. It is a Lucky Curve Pastel Ring Top Lady Coral from 1928. Let me give you a little zoom. It is made, uh, of course, of celluloid. So, G.O.S. Parker. Let us zoom. G.O.S. Parker. The Lucky Curve. And some pattern uh, name. This is a lady model. This ring top had a role of holding it. You can hold it uh, like a necklace or uh, you can use it like it is. Of course, this hasn't a clip. The specific breathing holes on the cap. This beautiful, beautiful gold nib. We have a beautiful Parker Lucky Curve pen made in um, USA. It is a nice looking nib. At the back we have uh, the famous feed in the uh, shape of a Christmas tree. This particular model is a button filler. It has this blind cap and you have to push this button for it to fill with ink. A gorgeous, gorgeous model and uh, one of the oldest sparkles in my collection. So from 1929. Next, I have an interesting, interesting model, a Parker. And judging from the size of the clip and the ending of the cap and by its uh, dimensions, you might think this is a Parker Duet Junior Modern from 1933, the so-called Parker Depression Pants, uh, named after the Great uh, Economic Depression. Uh, well, you might be right, because it certainly started like a Parker Duet Junior Modern. It is made out of this beautiful celluloid that uh, has this uh, glow to it, but if we look closely, we can see that this is a piston filler. So, you must know that Parker never used this system on its fountain pens. And we have also a nib. This is a steel nib. And it has imprinted on it a bear on two legs. So, judging by this uh, logo, we can tell it is an Eastern European made nib from the 1950s or the 1960s. So this fountain pen is definitely from Europe and sometimes in its lifetime it suffered this modification and you can see that the piston it is inside of the barrel because the barrel being celluloid it has it um, has these bumps so it deform over time by the pressure of the inner cork. I will leave this aside and now I present to you the most iconic and the most uh, sold fountain pen in the history of the Parker company. If you ask five people a model from Parker, four of them will remember this model. It is the famous Parker 51 with the aerometric filling system. This is a product from the USA and I uh, think it is from 1954. It has uh, this imprint on the filling mechanism that mentions the super chrome ink 
and it has this plastic ending and those are signs that this is from 1954. If you want to find more details about dating your Parker 51, you should uh, see my review video of the Parker 51. And moving on, I have yet another Parker 51, but a model from the 1960s made in England, United Kingdom. It comes in this original box. It has these instructions written in German, and it means that this is an export market for, for, for the German-speaking countries. Let's leave this beautiful box aside, and let's look at this fountain pen. You must know that judging by the condition of this fountain pen, I think this is an, in an NOS condition, so in my opinion, it was never used. It has this imprint here. I hope you can see it. Made in... Let me show you. So, you can see it. Made in England. It has this wonderful, wonderful nib. And judging by the way the tines are cut, I believe this is an oblique variant of this hooded nib. And most of all, it has the aerometric feeding mechanism. This time, no mention of the Super Chrome ink. Just a gorgeous looking sack. And you can see by the light that this sack was never inked. A wonderful, wonderful fountain pen. And I'm quite, quite proud to have this fountain pen in my collection. Next, another English made fountain pen. And you must know the story of this fountain pen. You can see that uh, it uh, looks quite, quite uh, well. This is a Parker 65. Let me tell you what happened. In the European market, the hooded nib was um, received with um, different opinions because the Europeans were accustomed to open nibs. So this was the solution made by the engineers, uh, English engineers at the Parker subsidiary to design a fountain pen with an open nib. And they came out with this gorgeous, gorgeous looking model, Parker 14 karat 585. You can see this nib, this open nib. It is simply wonderful. And the design of the enclosed feed, I uh, love it a lot. This fountain pen came also with um, this filling mechanism, which is almost identical to the aerometric filling mechanism of the Parker 51, to fill deep in ink and press bar four times. Parker England. This fountain pen was sold only in England and in um, the Commonwealth community of countries. And it is quite, quite a beautiful, beautiful looking fountain pen. And I'm quite proud to have it in my collection. So this is the Parker 65. And this Parker 65 was launched in 1967. And it was produced till uh, approximately 1975. Another gorgeous model I have here the Parker 75 custom black leg from 1980s. This was designed by the son of the Parker founder. This is a gorgeous model with an 18 karat gold nib made for the French market. It has this beautiful, beautiful design grip which has um, those uh, specially designed faces to secure that you hold it firmly in your hands. Another Parker 75, also from the 1980s, but uh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fountain pen, also made in France and also featuring a beautiful, beautiful 18 karat gold nib, but done in this beautiful, beautiful pattern that is called wood grain lacquer and it has um, it, it is a special edition because it has some uh, chinese characters and here they are you can see them let me zoom on them to see them better yes those are the chinese characters of this special special model let me show you a simple model a student model 
the so-called Parker Vector model. This was uh, launched for the first time in 1987. It is quite an interesting Parker fountain pen. Now I have um, for you a Parker sonnet from 2007. It is called the Monochrome and uh, in this pattern is quite quite a rare fountain pen. It has a simple steel nib but it's uh, quite a nice uh, looking fountain pen. And next guys I have for you a original box of the Parker sonnet. Unfortunately in this original box I bought some uh, fakes and I want to show them to you. They are featured on one of my videos and guys those are the fake ones, the fake ones. And I have also in this box fake, fake, fake. So unfortunately when uh, you are a collector and you are in your first years of collecting you don't know the fakes from the real ones. So those are perfectly, perfectly made. And let me show you an example. I hope I can match one that has a beautiful nib. No, this no. This is in, uh, this says this it is an 18 karat 750 gold. But look, it is just a, a steel nib, uh, gold plating. But they did a poor job gold plating it. So. Uh, this is a bad example. I want to show you one in perfect and in immaculate shape. This again, no. You can look at this one. You can see it's white gold, but in fact, it's not white gold. And guys, there's a simple way to find if uh, this is a fake one. Just look at this date. If we have this date, so 3Q, let me show you at another one. So if you have this date, Sonnet France and I will zoom it on it because this is a dead giveaway. Look, one, two, three and Q. If you see this mark, stay, uh, don't buy the fountain pen. Another, another simple procedure, but you can't test it on the field is uh, simply remove this nib and uh, use a uh, magnet and if this nib is attracted uh, from that magnet yes definitely not a gold nib and uh, the last one is not a parker but is a bauer copy of the parker sonnet and it's made out by the chinese and it's called bauer 388 other specifications but you must know that there is also this Bauer fountain pen that looks like a Parker sonnet. So I'm sorry that I included the fake ones in uh, my collection, but uh, they are part of my collection and they are part of my mistakes. And guys, I don't want you to do the same mistakes as I did. Practically, those are the fountain pens, the Parker fountain pens from my collection. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and uh, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are. I will see you again at the next episode. If you want to see how these fountain pens work, just check my channel because they all have reviews and writing samples. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye bye.